Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to create a macro. So macro is a saved sequence of commands or keystrokes that are stored for later use. What does that mean? It means that we can save some actions in a macro so that whenever we have to run those commands or actions, we can simply run the macro and all those commands or actions will be run in a sequence whenever we want. Now, today we will see how to create a macro to sort the numbers in ar or arrange the numbers in ascending or descending order and change their font size. How to use a macro to do simple calculations and to find some maximum values or apply any other inbuilt function. How to use a macro as a function. You can create your own macro. You can create your own function and code the function in OpenOffice Basic like this. You can write your own function in OpenOffice Basic like this. You can create your own functions in a macro and save them. So whenever you want, you can run those functions. It will be your own customized functions. Now we will see how to use a macro to sort the numbers. Now suppose there are some numbers which I have written in a random order. Now I will sort the numbers, arrange the numbers in ascending order and also change the font size and font color. All these actions will be saved in a macro. So first of all, we will go to tools, macro, record macro. Now you will see a stop recording button is appearing over here. Now I will select these numbers and click on the sort ascending button. This is for sort descending. This is for sort ascending. So you can see the numbers are sorted in ascending order, arranged in ascending order. Now I will increase the font size and I am changing the font color here. So all the work which I am doing is saved in a macro. Now I'll click on stop recording. So it is better you save your file first before creating a macro. I have already saved my file with the name Mac1, which is displayed over here also. I'm just double clicking on my file name. Then I will click, double click on the standard library. So this is a default library which is created when you create a macro. If you want, you can create a new module. I'm creating a module 2, a new module, fresh module file for my macro. So now you can write a macro name. Suppose I'm writing the name of the macro is as M1 and save it. Now my macro has recorded all the actions which I have performed. Now suppose I'm taking another sheet and there are some random numbers which I have written which I want to sort and do some changes in the font just like I have done in this sheet. Same actions I want to perform on the numbers given over here. So I'll just run the macro tools, macro. So earlier we have selected record macro. Now we will run the macro which we have recorded earlier. Double click on the file name. I have saved the macro in mac1.ods, the name of my file. It's better you also save your file before making a macro. You can also save your macro globally in my macros and in standard library over there or in open office macros. Double click here, double click on module two. You will see a list of the macros created over here. Your macro name was M1, click on run. Now you will see these numbers are also sorted, arranged in ascending order and their font has been changed. Now we will see how to create, how to use a macro to do simple calculations and to do functions which are already defined. Now this is a sheet here which contains marks of UT1 or semester 1 of a student. There is one more sheet which contains marks of UT2 or semester 2 of, an, of the same student. Now what I want is I want to find sum and average of these marks and same action I want to perform over here also. So what I can do is instead of doing these functions again and again, I can simply save these actions in a macro and run them wherever required. So tools, macro, record macro, you will see our stop recording macro here equal to sum, select the range, press enter. It is going to show you the total marks here. I'm writing total marks. Then equal to average, select the range, enter. It is showing the average marks. I am writing the heading average marks here. All my action finding sum and average and these texts which I have written, they are all saved in a macro. Click on stop recording now. Now it is asking you to save the macro. So you have to double click on the standard, two, standard library, module 2. Click on module 2 and write the name as, suppose M2, I am writing the name. Click on save. This macro name was already there. I'm just overwriting it. Now in sheet five, I will run the macro, go to tools, 
macro run macro now on this sheet also i want to find the same values so standard library module 2 m2 run so it is getting the total marks here and average of the values here so this is how we can run the macro to perform simple calculations and to apply some functions now we will see how to create a macro to create to save your own functions there are many functions available in open office calc but we can create our own functions by using macro so we will see how to do that so for that we have to open the coding window we will code our own macro go to tools macros now we will click on organize macro open office basic it will open this window for you where you can code your own macro you will see some coding is already written over there just go to the last line and press enter and you can add your own code now i am writing function write any function name suppose i want a function to just print a message hello students so function name of the function is msg then what will msg do msg equal to hello students when you call the function it will just display the result hello students now we will write end function so function function name make sure whatever way you are writing here if it is upper case you have to use it in upper case in all the conditions so function function name msg so msg will return what msg equal to hello students and then we have to write end function save this file save this code which you have done if your mac if your file is not saved it will ask also ask you to save your file so it's better to save the file first before creating a macro now how will you run a function basically we run a function by writing the function name like equal to sum and bracket to brackets we write after the function name same here if you want to call our own function we have to write uh, i'll just run the function over here we have to write equal to msg and brackets open and close because nothing is there inside the brackets we are just opening and closing the brackets there are no arguments there are no parameters inside the bracket so i am again running this macro we we'll just write equal to msg make sure whatever way you are written you have written the macro name because macro name is case sensitive so we have written msg in capital here also we will write it in capital so equal to msg open the round brackets and close it enter so it is just printing a message hello students so we have made a function which is just printing a simple message hello students now we will see how to create a macro to find subtraction of two numbers we already know we have a function to find some of the numbers we will make a macro which will find subtraction of two numbers suppose the name of the macro is test so i just write equal to test i will pass any two numbers here 8 semicolon 2 it will just find the subtraction it will minus the two numbers so i'll go to tools macro record macro sorry not record macro we will go to tools macro organize macro open office basic now we will click on edit go to the last line of the macro at the end of the macro press enter write function suppose the name of my function is test and we are just in the bracket writing two values x comma y so these are the values which we are going to pass from our worksheet so what will test return test will be x minus y so test equal to x minus y means the function will return the subtraction of x and y end function to end the function save the function okay click on the save button here now go back to your worksheet now we will call this function we will write equal to how to call the function equal to function name let me increase the font size of this these cells okay so equal to function name is test in the bracket i have to pass two values suppose 12 semicolon 4 so it is getting the answer 8 i am again testing it equal to test 80 semicolon 34 so this way i have made a macro as a function this function is doing what it is simply finding subtraction of two numbers now we will do some more complicated calculations we will make a function in which when we pass two values like this we have passed two values it will find which value is the greatest so again we will go to tools macro organize macro open office basic click on edit go to the last line press enter after that make sure you don't write anywhere in between if you write something in between you might get an error the coding will not run so don't touch any of the coding which is already there in open office calc just go to the last line and add your code to the already existing code in open office calc 
So I'm writing a new function. Function name of a function is suppose great because it is finding greatest of two numbers. Take some meaningful name x comma y any two values which we are passing. You can take a or b also any variable name. What it is doing now if x is greater than y then you might have done basic programming in your junior classes. So it is similar to that. So if the value of x is greater than y the function great will display x. So great equal to x else if x is not greater than y the function great will display y. So great equal to y. Simple if condition. In the end, we have to write end function. So don't forget to end the if condition. Don't forget to end the function. Function, function name is great. Two values are passed. Whatever two values we are passing, it will check if x is greater than y. If yes, it will print x. Otherwise, it will just display the value y. And if, to end the if condition, which we have written over here, the condition is what? x is greater than y. Then, now again, save this macro. Click on the save button. If you don't save the macro function, which we have written will not be saved. So before running it, we have to save it. Go back to your worksheet. Now again, call the function equal to great bracket. Pass two numbers, 23 semicolon 5. So 23 is the greatest. I'll again run great. Pass two numbers, 76 semicolon 4. So it is showing me 76 equal to great. Now I'm taking the second number as greatest. 9 comma 55, so 55. So this is how you will create a macro. We can write more powerful coding in this open office basic window to do some more complex tasks so you can explore more, more yourself. Thank you.